a comparison between the Shoei RF1400, also known as the NXR2, also known as the Z8, against the Arai Quantic, also known as the Astro GX, and the Contour X. <sighs> These Japanese brands, they have one name for American market, they have another name for the Japanese market, and another name for the European market. So, first off, these are the two helmets that are... So these are the two helmets of these two top Japanese helmet manufacturers that are designed for sports touring. And at the same time, these are the two helmets, I think they're two first helmets that have the new ECE 2206 rating. And the Arai was the first one to have that certification. But besides that certification, both of them are actually DOT and Snell rated. So if you're going to look at the back, so this is the Astro GX. So this is the Japanese model since I bought it in Japan. This one also has a Snell rating. It's called the RF1400 because I bought this from the US. So, but if you're going to compare the Japanese name, the, the Japanese name for this is the Z8. And if you're going to buy this Astro GX in the US, you look for a Contour X. In Europe, in Europe, this is the NXR2 and this is the Quantic. I am going to give you my feedback between using these two helmets because the Shoei right now is my favorite helmet in terms of the comfort, the amount of vents. It's just basically my favorite helmet, especially when I put on the Shoei photochromic lens on it. It made me forget about bringing my sunglasses and it's a lot better because I can ride from, the, from day to night. Now, I'm going to be talking about also Arai because with this Arai model, I was able to, to get a pin lock insert that has that same function, the same photochroma, photochromatic or transition. It has the same effect as the photochromic lens of the Shoei, which turns it dark when it's bright and then it turns lighter when it's actually getting darker. So transition, same if you're familiar with the transition sunglasses, it works the same way. Okay, so let me just set up and then uh, I'll remove the showy and then let's get into the Arai and let me talk about more about the Arai. If you want to know more about my take on the showy, I made a comparison between the showy and my, my other Arai helmet, which is the Rapid Neo. But it's not really a heads up fair comparison because one was a retro helmet and this one is a sports tour. This two is actually a better uh, comparison because they're actually designed to be on the same level and they actually have similar uh, classification ratings in terms of safety where it has Snell, it has DOT and it has uh, ECE 2206 ratings. Okay, so this Arai helmet is, I think is my single big purchase in Japan uh, with our last trip in Nagoya. So if you want to see, I have some, uh, check out my, my feed. I should have a few videos about our Nagoya trip if you want to learn more about Nagoya. Uh, and I'm also posting some videos on the store where I got this. So this one is I purchased from uh, a store called Naps in Japan. Now I went to two stores in Japan, which is Bike World. Is it Bike World? I think it's Bike World and, but let me just double check to be sure. Yeah, it's Bike World in Nagoya and also Naps in Nagoya. They are five, 10 minutes away from each other. So I decided to buy it from Naps because they, for one, it's, they were so much easier to talk to and they were, uh, they had that process for tax-free shopping. Remember, if you're a tourist in Japan, so that's why you want to bring always your passport when you travel in Japan. Any purchase above 5,500, 5,500 5, gross, which means net of 5,000, you can have it uh, done in a tax-free, but make sure you ask first because not all store has that process. 
yung isang store na pinuntahan ko, Bike World, did have the tax-free option. So whatever is the price, that's how much you pay. But in uh, NAPS, they do have the option for tax-free. All they have to do is check your passport that you are an actual tourist and you just arrived. So you can get your your tax free which means whatever price is listed it's less 10% because they have to remove the tax so which makes this helmet uh, a good value if you're buying from Japan which was very surprising so so why did I get the Arai Astro GX I set out myself to go get me a Shoei because of how much I love my Shoei the RF 1400 NXR2 Z8 well, those are the three names of that helmet. How much I love that helmet. Uh, comfort, vent ventilation. Uh, I just love the feel of that helmet on my head. So I, was, I set out myself to, to get myself a new showy helmet. So I wanted something medyo mas ni graphics naman. I... I uh, the showy, as you can see, the, my previous showy, my graphics are very, very, very minimal. My my array, the graphics is is okay. Uh, my rapid, yeah, the uh, array rapid, but my my bell and my blade there are all very simple. So I wanted something that medyo mas my graphics ng konte. Um, I was meron pang ako nakita ng array na neon talaga lahat ng kulay. I'll post the picture. But my kid said it was just too loud. But it fe felt like if you grew up in the 80s, if you remember the brand Maui and Sons, it looks exactly like one of those. So when I went to Japan, my, my main intention talaga is to get me a showy helmet. In fact, I already knew I was going to buy a helmet when I was going to Japan. That's why I brought my backpack that would fit a helmet. Because I knew I was going to be hand carrying it. There's no way I'm going to check this in. So I checked there and looked at the Shoei X15. The Shoei X15, um, the one that has the Lucky Cat at the back. So I went to the first store, I saw it. And then when I fitted it, it just didn't feel right. It, it felt, I was getting the same size as uh, my helmet, but I fit it, it felt narrow it it was difficult to put on it was very narrow and the price was really really high parang parang i i was expecting if it was in japan the the helmet would be cheaper so medyo medyo na ano ako dun sa ko mahal batang mahal na show i always presume arai would be the more expensive helmet over the showy because if you compare that showy which is the x15 against I think the Arai, which is the RX-7, the Arai was cheaper. So, sabi ko, sige, parang ang mahal ng Shoei, it would come out to around 40,000 pesos. Sabi ko, hmm, wait, medyo mahal to. Though medyo nakakuta na ako sa graphics. But let me, let me try the Arai. So, I tried the RX-7. Ay, same as the Shoei X-15. Ang hirap ibaba sa ulo. Sobrang sikip nung entrada. Once it's inside, okay, it's a little bit better. It feels like your typical helmet, medyo sick sick dito. But I wasn't worried because Arai, with Arai, you can always shape the pads. You can tear away some parts, which the Shoei, you cannot. So the Shoei, I needed to have them fit me and maybe have the pads replaced. But with the, with the Arai, you can just tear away parts of the pads if you feel like it's too, too tight. If it's too tight here, you can also adjust. If it's too tight here, you can adjust. So I set out to look at that RX-7. And then while I was checking it out, I saw the Astro. So yun, pag fit ko, sabi ko, oh, this feels so much better. Only for me to realize because the Astro, they designed the Astro, the, in, the innards, this part, to be wider than most of their helmets to accommodate an easier in and out. But once it's inside your head, the pads are still going to hold you securely. So, hindi yan yung tipong ginawa nilang wide, pero maluwang na. No, they made it wide just to make it easier to put on, but it didn't change the way the pads would hold your face. So, it's still very secure. So, nung pagsuot ko pa lang, it felt 
really comfy. And di pa to nabe-break in na helmet, ha? e medyo comfy na siya. But I know that if I use it more, it's going to get more comfy. Now, in terms of uh, safety, remember, this and the Shoei, this is probably the safest helmet you'll be able to purchase. It has the snail rating, it has the Easy A2206. Well, they did rate this exact model, the Astro, but the European counterpart is one they tested. They didn't need to test this because uh, for Japan market, they don't really look at the ECE rating. Mm -hmm. And then it has the DOT. Well, DOT is more of almost any helmet would pass a DOT rating. So safety-wise, this would pass. I have no worries. I have no concern. Arai is the safest helmet you'll be able to buy because Arai will put anything and everything below safety. Safety is going to be their number one concern. And that is why until now, Arai is still owned by the family. It's still not a, a publicly traded company because I guess they didn't want to compromise because if they get investors, it may compromise how they do business, which means make it, make it so that the production is easier and it's cut some costs here so we make more money. With Arai, they're not willing to sacrifice that because their main concern will always be safety and always make it the new model safer, always. Yun yung, yun yung mentality nila, always safe. That is why if you notice the shape of the, of the Arai, they're always going to be rounded in profile. Yung showy, may kita mo mas mahaba siya, mas parang aerodynamic. They always want rounded so that thou, if you're going to slide, it will glance off better yung shape niya and the shape that is round is always going to be safer kaya they always have this rounder profile which is perfect kasi makikita mo na mas bilog yung ulo ko that's why the a the fit of of the array is is pretty good now if i'm going to compare the fit of this to the showy the or even this array to my Rapid, it feels like the Rapid Neo is a little bit more rounded. This one is just a little bit more narrow here. But I'm still going to give it a few more uses to see if the paddings are going to, to mold it better or going to break in better. Kasi ngayon may parang hot spot na pressure there. I'm feeling some pressure here on the side. Not too painful, but, but definitely there's some pressure that I'm feeling. So. I have an option to to remove some padding on this side para mas mahindi siya ganun ka narrow or like I said I'm going to give it a few more tries and hopefully it will break in. Ganun din sa cheeks if if when I put it on makikita mo laki kasi ng cheeks ko eh. It has a tendency to be a little bit uh, pressed here na Halos makagat ko yung inner. So, ganun din. I'm going to give it a few more try. And if it doesn't break in as well as I want it to be, then I'll just do a tear away. This is what also what I did with the, with, with the Arayna Rapid. My Rapid Neo. Is after a few weeks, medyo matsikip pa rin dito. So, I decided to just do a tear away. Ventilation, the few times that I've used it, ang ganda ng vents nito. Because as you can see here, you have two vents here. This 3D, look, if it's a 3D na array na logo, 3D because this is not like yung painted on or a decal on. This one is actually a, a vent. If you notice here, there's a vent here. This is how you turn it off. This is how you keep it on. So downward position. I seem to see a lot of reviewers online na dito sila nagkakamali. Kala nila, when you pull it up, it's open. When you push it down, it's closed. It's actually reversed. If this is flushed, this is the open position. You have to pull it up to close it. So this one has also the uh, very unique to Arai, which is the 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 brow vents. Na yan na feel ko yung pagpasok ng hangin. Tapos yun sa chin, sa chin niya, ang laki ng ventilation. And another part, if you look at the, the back side, you have a switchable exhaust here by the spoiler. Tapos, if you, it's a three-way position, eh, so you can, this is fully open, the center is half open, half closed, all the way to the left is fully closed. Tapos, meron din siyang dalawang vents here. 
Tapos, if you notice, meron siyang parang side channels here. May meron siyang design, eh. may shape siya dito. This is so that it will, it will uh, have a venturi effect here because of this shape that will pull the hot air. And that's why the ventilation of this helmet is really, really good. So, this is probably one of the best helmets na full face that has that really good ventilation. In fact, I think this has better ventilation than the Shoei. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the, the Shoei, the good thing about the Shoei is Shoei actually sells a shield that has photochromic na function, which means it's a transition lens that it will go dark when it's really bright outside, or when it's dark, it gets bright, or meaning there's no tint. So the tint adjusts depends on the outdoor light or the amount of UV. Shh, Arai doesn't make one of those. Arai makes either a tinted one or the, the Pro Shield that I have on the Rapid, yung na flip up na visor. Arai will never put uh, a, a, a drop down visor, yung dito, which most of the helmets now have because they're never going to do that because that will compromise safety. Just remember, Arai is, I don't care if there's no function like that. I don't care if, if my competitors has it as long as I'm not going to compromise the safety. And that's my, still my number one priority. So if you're going to, to see, this is where you put on the inserts on the inside, the pin lock insert. That's the anti-fog insert. Now, it does work. It does work. It does get dark but not that dark iba pa rin yung sa showy na inserts ang ganda ng showy talagang it gets dark enough na you really don't need any more sunglasses or anything this one gets medium medium to medium light hanggang doon lang hindi siya talaga nagiging sobrang dark medyo na loko yata ako eh, kasi nung pinakita sa akin nung sa store the the one selling had the UV flashlight so ginano na talagang nangitim but for some reason, when I have it on now, nung ginamit ko sa outdoor na malakas, nasisilaw pa rin ako, but not as, as bad as if kung wala, ah, nasisilaw pa rin ako, even though that has turned to lighter color already, uh, darker, a little bit darker. Ang hindi ko pa nagustuhan is, optically, optically, may konting distortion na medyo napapaisip tuloy ako, should I just remove it eh? Kasi mas naiilang ako doon sa distortion kesa doon sa fact na hindi siya nagiging dark eh. I can live with the... I can live with the... With the hindi ganun ka dark eh. But the distortion is so annoying eh. But I don't know if it... I, if I keep using it pag na-expose siya sa heat, if it will lay flatter and hopefully mawala. Because I did have that problem when I had my HJC na ganun din has the, the pin lock na may transition. But same, same experience, this and that. Though this one is not made by Pinlock, that one was made by Pinlock. This is made by Mitsuba. And the brand is Mitsuba You Look. Parang yun yung name ng transition na. So, yun. Ang lumalabas, mas maganda yung quality, of course, ng Pinlock. So, uh... That's my take on the Astro GX. So if you guys are looking for uh, a helmet that is comfortable, has really good ventilation, and surprisingly for an Arai, it's not that expensive. So if you are going to Japan, you may want to consider, but if you, you are not going to Japan, you can also get the Astro Wala alang kasi this color that I wanted from Motoman where I also get all my stuff. Uh, they are selling the solid color. Uh, I did consider that before leaving for Japan that I would get the Astro from him. But I really wanted something with print. This one, uh, makikita mo, may para siyang carbon design pa. And I like the red one particularly to match, obviously, my the Ducati. So, I really looked for something na yun nga yung may design so but if ever you want to buy it locally i know motoman has it so you can check them out check out my other videos or for his link but uh you can you can also search for him in uh motoman in facebook and in instagram 
Okay, guys. So thank you very much. I'll just be installing. Uh, I won't do a video anymore of, of the install, but I also purchased. But this one I didn't purchase from Japan. Mas mahal sa Japan yung car do eh. So I'm installing uh, a pack, uh, pack talk edge na cardo. So magso solo siya. All my, all my other helmets has the pack talk bold. But since I was planning on buying a new one already, I decided I'll try the new pack talk edge na. And let's see if the function of this is much better than the, the pack talk bold. So I'll do a comparison of this hopefully also next time in the video. But right now I'm going to have this installed here. Okay guys, thank you. By the way, we are already past 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. Till next video, bye.